Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is an old glove. Um, this is a Bauer Supreme 1S. I purchased this recently because I got it for $225. Goalie Monkey, sorry, HockeyMonkey.ca was having a sale and I got it for $225, which is an amazing price for this glove. Um, I am a huge fan of my 1X blocker. It's the best blocker I've ever used. The rebounds on it are great, everything like that. This has an even harder face with its curve. Um, so I wanted to try that out. I wanted to see how, re how the rebounds were on this. I was a huge fan of the 2S in terms of the bore. Hated the palm. Um, this has a nicer quattro palm with less thick fingers. So I grabbed this because I actually like this palm better than the 2S palm. I actually seen, have seen some uh, pro goalies, like this on the equipment manager, Twitters. Um, and Instagram show off that a bunch of 2S Pro goalies have this palm because they like this one better than the old, one, the new one. I totally agree with that, and that's why I really wanted this glove. Now, first things first, I'm not going to review this because it's old. It's like an older model, and there's 2S Pro, and I did the review on that. But I'm just going to talk about some things I like about it or don't like. This graphic, this is like the original Bauer sticker on graphic. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will peel off because I've seen a ton of them peel off. Whatever, I don't care that much. This blocker I basically bought to replace the uh, Brian's Genetic 4 blocker. So for my Tigers team, it's black and white. Now I haven't used that blocker yet and I don't even have the set yet. But from seeing it in store and how seeing how much I didn't like the optic, I figured this was a good opportunity to get this to kind of replace it to get something I really, really like. So that's why I went with this. That's why I went with black. I couldn't find orange anywhere. So I got black. Um, I don't mind this graphic. I actually think it's pretty interesting. Yes, it's really boring that you couldn't customize it and do different things. But the, I found the graphic itself interesting. So I'm not really worried about that. This is kind of stupid though. Um, the sideboard is really interesting because of how stiff it is. It doesn't move like at all. It's totally hard. There's a little bit of flex like in it right there but that's it, like the, the actual board itself is totally solid, which is pretty interesting. Put your hand in there, like it's not going anywhere. So I'm a huge fan of that. Um, as you can see, you got some puck marks on it. I'm working on the balance of it to kind of get used to it. I get more pucks here than I do on the front just because of my style. Uh, but I wanna see how far the rebounds really kick out on this because they did on the 2S and they do on the 1X. So I'm assuming they should on this. Fingertip protection on this glove is really, really good. This stuff never got in the way with my stick like it did on my 1X. This thing that doesn't really get stuck. It just kind of floats properly. And this is actually the same shape as the 1X one. So I think my 1X one was just made incorrectly. Um, so that doesn't get in the way at all, which is always really nice. Now, this says it has poron in it. And I guess the 1X advertises poron as well. I can't feel poron in these, so I don't know where it is because it's not that soft and it doesn't feel like a smart foam. So if there's porn on there, I think it's kind of an advertising gimmick to be totally honest because it, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's doing much. Um, this palm I'm a fan of, it's it's like a quattro, they're quattro Nash. It's a, uh, it feels like quattro, but it's kind of the Nash color. It feels slightly not as soft as the 1X, but the the actual fingertips and everything is are much smaller than the 2S was. I should say the palm is thinner, so it feels much smaller than the 2S. It's still a pretty big palm, um, and you can kind of see it bunching up, but it feels much nicer on my stick and much nicer to play with than the 2S did, which was really frustrating. These parts, I actually find get in the way when I try to pick up a stick, especially compared to the 1X. I don't know why, but when I do try to pick up a stick, that's kind of gets in the way on the ice, and I, I have a bit of trouble. Um, no issues on the 1X at all. Maybe it's a break-in thing, we'll see. The inner material, you got 37.5, you got some of your, I think this is called like a bait or Supreme Armor or something like that. Can't remember exactly. And then your Nash on the inside. Again, your curved logo right there. I, I'm not sure if 37.5 really works. I haven't been able to test it properly. I don't notice these gloves be drier than other gloves I use, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but overall, like, I know these gloves, this line of gear had its issues, um, but they're also very good. And they did a lot of things very well. Hopefully mine don't rip at the bottom like I've seen some people do. Kind of see some like white wear there. So hopefully that won't be the 
Gen Pro just ripping apart. I take care of my equipment. I also rotate it, so hopefully this will last me a while. I'm kind of using this blocker all the time now to try to not break it in, but get used to it just to see how I really like it. Um, but that's about it. Just want to talk about a new purchase just because I'm pretty excited about it. And it's kind of weird when I buy old gear, if you will. Um, but I, found, I actually found this one was nicer than the new one. But it is what it is. So thank you very much for watching. This is a bit of an unboxing and it's a quick look at one of my newest pieces of gear, which is old gear. Um, and I hate to say this, remember to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Links are in the description. Helps me get gear so I can do reviews on and talk about them and do different. It would have been cool to do a 1S versus 2S comparison, but I don't have that 2S blocker anymore. Um, and again, one other thing is if you do buy gear from a manufacturer and because of one of my videos, um, please, if you don't mind, reach out to the manufacturer and just mention, hey, I bought this or I didn't buy this because of so-and-so. Helps me get noticed by them just so I can get some demo stuff and things like that so I can talk about more gear and do more gear reviews in the future. But anyways, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.